Hello everybody, I'm Abbasu and uh, welcome again to my course on NIST risk management framework and today we are going to discuss about the second step of this framework that is categorize task. So that is categorize and we'll discuss about the different tasks to perform this step. Then let's start with what is the purpose of categorize. The purpose of categorize step is to inform organization risk management processes and tasks by determining the adverse impact to organization operation and assets individual and other organization and mission with respect to loss of confidentiality integrity availability of organization system and information process to and transmit by those system so this is what we are having as an uh, purpose of our uh, categorized step so if we look into this uh, uh, this step it has three tasks first is system description second is security categorization and third is security categorization review and approval so let's discuss about these step one by one so let's discuss about the first step that is system description this is document the characteristic of this system to describe it. A description of a system characteristic is documented in the security and privacy plan included in attachment to the plans or referenced in other standard sources for information generated as a part of SDLC software development life cycle. Duplication of the information is avoided whenever possible. The level of detail in the security and privacy plan is determined by the organization and is commensurate with a security categorization and the security and privacy risk assessment of the system. Information may be added to and uploaded in the system description as it become available during the system life cycle during the execution of uh, risk management framework steps and as any, any system categorization change so let's discuss about the examples like when we are talking about the system system description information that organization can include in security privacy plan include description name of the system system identifier system version or release number manufacturer and supplier information individual responsibility for the system system contact information organization that manages owns or control the system and there are other things as well that that we can maintain as a part of our system description second step is security categorization so we need to categorize the system and document the security categorization result security categorization determines and uh, consider potential adverse impact to the organization operations organization assert, uh, asserts individuals another organization resulting from the loss of confidentiality integrity and availability of uh, information organization has a flexibility to conduct the security uh, categorization either by single level impact of an uh, system based on high water level concept or to establish the three level uh, impact values that may vary for each of the security objective of confidentiality integrity and availability the security categorization process is carried out by system owners and information owners in cooperation and collaboration with senior leadership and execution with mission business function or risk management responsibilities so next is the uh, third step that is basically security categorization review and approval so till now we have uh, we have described the systems we have maintained the system descriptions we have defined the security categories on the basis of uh, impact level that can be high water model level or three level impact and now when we have defined this then then we need to review the category and then approve it this is review and approve the security category results and decisions for information system that processes PII the senior agency officer for privacy review and approval the security categorization result and decision prior to authorize official review security categorization results and decisions are reviewed by the authorized officer or a design representative to ensure that the security category selected for the information system is considered 
with the mission and business function of the organization and the need to adequately protect those mission and functions the authorizing officer or designated representative reviews the categorization results and decision from the organization wide wide perspective including how the decision aligned with the categorization decision for all other organization system so this is what we are having the review and approval for security categorization so this is this is all what we are going to discuss uh, as a part of categorization tasks